Are you driving? You driving? We're going. Yay! Oh, you turning knobs too? What does that do? Yay! Close the door. He said, I'm trying to go somewhere. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a beautiful 2001 Lexus L GS, excuse me, GS 300. Made him in the, what, the 300 and the 420? 420 or 430? 430 on these, I think. 400. 400 and then 430. And I'll tell you what, as far as I love a W140, just beautiful cars. But the reliability of the Lexus GS or a um, LS in either the 400, 430, or um, the, even the SCs. These GSs are the sportiest sedan. And the 3000 motor, pretty sure it's the same dang motor they got in the Supra without the turbos. And I have it running here because I want you to see it just runs so quiet. When you're inside the car, you can't even tell if you started it. So definitely a, a nice, smooth, riding, smooth running car. I'm going to go around the car and show you anything on the outside that's wrong with it. Anything that's kind of dented, dinged, or messed up. And there ain't much to talk about. There's a little scuff there. And man, there's a few tiny insignificant little there's a like a scratch right there and a scuffy scratch right there. Hope you can see that. Sometimes you get condensation in these lights. And when we uh, the rain yesterday and when we Shot it with the pressure washer. Got a little condensation in there. It's not usually like that, but it is having an issue there. These right here, it's starting to peel a little bit. You can see that? And the chrome here, it's starting to peel a little bit. I didn't peel it off, but that's what you're dealing with. Um, body lines, seams are in great condition. There's a little gouge there. And wheels, you got a little curb rash on them. Um, they're in great shape, but there's a little curb rash. Tires are. A lot, they had a lot of tread on there. These parts on the gold always get a little faded like that. The plastic um, cladding, molding on the bottom. Um, paint's in great shape. A little scuff right there. Hope you can see that. And right there. My hands are filthy. I've been working today. Got scratches. Well, I mean, it's like not that bad. But there is a little scuffy scratch there. Um, great shape. Got this going on with the bumper where it looks like he bump something a little bit and it kind of put a teeny little spot there. A little scratchy stuff. Oh, that's coming right off. Dust on it. A little bit of dust. Um, some chips and things here. And right here. Now this is a stress mark from this little... This is the worst thing in it. So that came off. It's in great shape. Uh, going down this side. This. A little bit of stuff off the trim there. And the same kind of spot right there. Um, there is three little dings right there, a ding right there. And you know, it's a funny thing, I really didn't see much of dingage over here to talk about. There's gotta be a ding. There's a ding. I found a ding. The sun was in my eyes. And there's gotta be a tiny ding right there. I, I try to be as thorough as possible. Most of my cars go either overseas or somewhere a long way from me. And a little crease right there, if you can see. And that, besides one more spot, is a ding. Oh, there's another spot. This side has a little bit of fading going on, but not as much as that side. Um, which the other side ain't that bad. A little chip, a little chip, and a little slight crease right there. Uh, I think you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Get back on up. It looks good, but a paintless ding removal guy could do wonders on that. This fender's in great shape. California, Nevada car. Look at these, look at this. You don't find stuff with wheel wells and everything. This clean up here where I'm from in Montana. But this wheel's in great shape, actually. I wanna see if the other ones have curb rash. It's a Michelin, wow, that's a lot of tread. A lot of tread. I think that's, this is Douglas. It's not matched. It's got plenty of tread. Little titties all over the side there. And there's a little bit of curb rash on that one. But let's look at this last one that I probably didn't show good enough. It's in pretty good shape. It's just a little rash there and a teeny bit there. This is Douglas also. So match set on the back. It's got three Douglas. 
So that's that. And before I forget it, there's a little crack in the windshield right there. Right below your line that goes down, over, down. Shouldn't spread any further. It's not in your line of sight. So yeah, I don't know. I don't replace stuff like that. I disclose it because a lot of people would just drive it because you cannot see it. But a lot of people would be the end of the world for them. So I don't care which kind of person you are. I'm just here to tell you that I got a deal for you. So check out the description. Give me a call, Nathan, 406-546-8748. And I'll do the interior here, show you a lot of options and whatever's damaged or not damaged in there. Clean car. Okay, here I am for the test drive. And I'll tell you what, the car is quick. I'm gonna punch it here. It digs down, it does what it's supposed to. And next thing you know, you're at stinking 65, 70 so fast, it's pitiful. Ultimate smoothness. It's a nice car. I'm a big... Uh... So, my battery went dead. Guy swept over towards me, now he's over in the other lane. Okay, so, at least we get to take off again in this. Look at this. Plenty of power, very smooth driving car, and gets a lot of gas mileage. Um, it's a 01. Uh, everything pretty much works on it. This thing is a nice car, all the options. I'll go over them with you when I get back to the place. But that's pretty much half the test drive. Turn around, take you back, get to rev on it again. Now, I don't always put my foot in it like that, but I'll tell you, it is a little hard not to sometimes because the car just performs so well. It's a very, very nice performing car. Um, I think it's the same motor that's in the, um, is it the same motor that's in the um, Supra? Except without the turbos. Which, that's a damn good motor. That's all there is to say about it. A little squeak on the wheel sometimes. A little here, there. Let me try to see if you can hear it again. Oops, didn't mean to peel out. It don't always do it, but it sometimes does. Beautiful day. Nice valley. Not much to complain about here. Ooh, someone went by and smacked their mailbox right off there. Okay, well, lots of traffic. Who are you? I'm Lily. That's Lily. Okay, so, I'm on the road again. Come on, come on, come on. Strong shifts in between. You can feel it just power through to the next one. I ain't got much fuel right now. I actually ran out and just put all I had in my gas can in. But honestly, if I'd have done that in my 68 Trans Am with a 396 in it, I would have already ran out of fuel if I put in two gallons in. But great car. Ain't much bad I can say about it. We actually bought this car in um, Las Vegas and drove it to somewhere around Denver and then up to Montana and have rode around up here a bit too. All I've done is put some brakes on it, rotors, um, a couple other things. Oh, a whole caliper. Um, and there ain't nothing I can say you need to do to this car besides hop in it and drive it. Um, and drive it, man. This is a nice smooth driving car. Oh, alignment. That one of the brake calipers had messed up one of the brake rotors. We replaced the rotors. We didn't know that the caliper was bad. And next thing you know, after we did an alignment, instead of going a little bit one way, it's pulling you the other way like you wouldn't believe. So, took things apart, found that brake rotor, and Rich got it all fixed up, and it's good now, man. This car runs like a top. All right, I always do this in the sun and in the dusk and get a little bit different idea of how the car looks. And I'm glad I do it this way, because every time I do, I usually find a little bit something else that I didn't disclose on accident, because I didn't see it because of the way the sun was glaring. And I'll show you, it's a little ding. And I may have missed one more. That's just all there is to say about it. You don't, it's, it, it honestly is hard to find everything. 
but what it is is what it is and I'll show you what it is right now it's right here I'll put the test drive in somewhere it's right there and I missed it but let's look at the interior see how that works door panels in great condition this seat is not needs a seat cover or you can buy this entire pad on eBay that is a direct replacement for $169. This one has a piece. This could be patched in. They cut that piece right in there. I've replaced a lot of them like that. Um, I'm not going to put anything into it. A little bit of wear on the wheel. And I'll go around. I know wear on the pedals. It's clean. It's got the factory mats and carpet under it's clean, which you ain't going to find nothing like this up here. This is clean. Ain't nobody messed it all up. And this has a, as you can see, a rip in it. They make a nice one on Amazon for like 119 for the whole set, front and back. Headliner's in great shape. Lights everywhere. Let's um get in here. Hang on. Fires right up. Runs great. Low gas is what the light is. My kid was playing with the fader thing. Let blink blinkers and all that. Our good clock's not set, AC's cold. I don't even turn it on. And dual control for passenger and if you turn that off, it'll go to dual. So where you can turn this one up and that one down. All the options, man. Radio works. I'm not going to get a copyright strike, though. Um, a little bit of wear on this. A little hole in this. So, that's the issue with that. Seat heaters, huh? Don't want that on. I was, it was over there, though. I didn't feel it. Cup holders and such, or whatever you may want to put there. I'll show you the books and everything. Dash is in great shape. Got a little hands-free Garmin or something thing in here and a speaker for Bluetooth type stuff sunroof all that and I'm totally confident to I tilted it first put it back because it works good nice car um, well I mean power locks work everything that's the one right there that doesn't auto lock. And if you lock it, you want to auto unlock. So, probably a switch. Something to that effect. Um, your mirrors, your mirrors are all good. They got that gold tint on them. You got all kinds of light up here. This one works too. I'm gonna pop the trunk here, I think. Here's a VSC off. You can change it from power, um, snow, or ECT. I don't know what that one is. But you could set it for it. Horn works. Is this downshift? I think you can shift with these. I'm not sure. And then there's a button on the back of it. Yeah, button back here. I think it has a shift mechanism in it. I don't know. I should know, I guess. I'm selling it, but I don't know, okay? You got an extra power point in here. And an extra, you can close that. You got storage in here, a little stain in there. You can close that. Okay, the back's in great shape. I showed you the seat over there. The other ones are great, but that one is not great. All the wood great shape. I'll show you under the hood after I get done here. So there's that. Here's all the books and manuals and the nice cladded leather cover. Put it in with the gold edges. Nice. There's a stack of receipts. I'll get that later. I think I showed you in there, but I can definitely see it. Multi-play CD player. Has he got a whole extra disc for that? I think he does. Or it's out. 
Oh, it's got a changer somewhere else, like maybe in the trunk. Let's get this stuff opened up and figure it out. Inside button does not open trunk, but key does open trunk. All the original mats and everything. And spare with a reel. Oh, it's in here backwards. You gotta go face down. Uh, they cleaned, when they cleaned it, they didn't put it face down. And I think, oh, there it is. I seen the thing to screw it in there. This thing's got all the options. Nobody can even lock you in here, man. Let's open the front, show you under the hood. Beautiful car, and it's fun to drive. This motor, this motor is in great shape. I'll have to take some pictures of it too before I close the hood out. Absolutely gorgeous. In great shape. Somebody took really good care of this car. That's under the hood. Oh, some light stains up here. Clean car. Okay, I got a few pictures. You've seen the inside. You've seen the outside. Now it's time for me to say goodbye and tell you that if you're looking for, I got that Z71 for sale too. That Mercedes, old Mercedes, lots of Trans Ams. But this is the car, man. If you want a high gas mileage car, there's this one. And there's that sweet view behind it. I gotta get rid of that thing. But that's the deal, Lexus. But that's the deal, Lexus LS300, it's for sale. Come and get it. Nathan, 406-546-8748, call me anytime. Absolutely gorgeous night out here. And lights are gonna kick on in a second. Geehaw, thanks for watching, we'll talk to you.